This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map Fire Island, spawning as the Yellow Soviets in the southwest position. It is Dimon, or Diamond, I don't know, his opponent in the northeast position. As the Blue Allies, he is Maniac. So, as you may have noticed, I was gone for a little while there, and I did stockpile some content, so there wasn't a total drought of videos, but I haven't actually casted anything. Well, I casted some Kane's Wrath, but uh, I haven't actually casted any Red Alert 3 in a little while, so I may be a little bit rusty. I noticed in Kane's Wrath I was messing some things up, and I just forgot some various uh, information and stats. So yeah, I, uh, a little bit rusty, a little bit more rusty than usual, so a little bit less informative than usual, which is even less helpful. However, we do have War Factory after that, or Refinery, and that is indeed going to be potentially some Sickles or some Bullfrogs. I mean, we could be seeing some Terror Drones, but typically, if it's, uh, actually, Bullfrogs would be beneficial since it's Airfield first, and Airfield before second Refinery, rather, and pretty much no infantry, so the Sickles aren't going to be super useful. They will be decent for harassing, but Vindicators will pretty much just pick them off without too much trouble. It's Tier 2, it's Cryocopters. This is a Cryocopter rush. As you can see, he, he was building something before, and he most likely just paused that, put it on hold, and now he's going to go for a Cryocopter and finish up the Vindicator. Just a little bit of a trick there. You can get the Vindicator almost done, and then that way you don't actually reveal anything just yet. And there's the Cryocopter revealing itself, so Dimon knows exactly what is going on. He went straight for Tier 2. We'll have to see if that works out. He needs lots of Bullfrogs to be able to deal with this. He's got two out right now. That's not enough to actually clean up the Vindicator. And often going for the Vindicator first can be a better option just because of how tanky the Cryocopter is. And then it's like, well, if the Vindicator's gone, the Cryocopter can freeze all at once but it can't actually kill anything. So if the Vindicator, if the Cryocopter goes down, the Frozen thing may still die, which is pretty important if it's like, you know, a refinery or something. So if you if you got a refinery frozen and you can kill the Vindicator, kill that first. Unless of course, unless of course they've got like Apollos nearby that they can crash down onto the building. That's the other option. But we do have that second oil refinery and no MCV move just yet. We should be seeing an MCV move at pretty much no point because even unless he's really going to be going for an expansion, which he's probably not going to be doing since he's going for lots of cryocopters right out of the gate. I mean, he went for two and then a third, so he's most likely looking to end the game very, very quickly. It's very unusual if you see someone go for like a super fast expansion after this, but... I mean, maybe his opponent will just decide to not build any attacking units other than these Bullfrogs, in which case he would be free to do whatever he wants. But he is going to be going for the MCV move. Likely won't have too much money after the, all of those Cryocopters, but he may be able to get an M Oh, is he just going for a turret push? He may just be... Oh, no, he turns around, goes for the expansion, but as you can see, it's going to be severely delayed in comparison with his opponent's expansion. And we do not have a barracks getting deployed by our Soviet player at pretty much any point in this game, which means no Oil Derrick. Maniac could go ahead and take that second Oil Derrick. Does begin the expansion, but again, that's going to be a pretty delayed expansion in comparison with the fact that he went for so many Cryocopters. He does only have one Vindicator, which means he's going to be heavily depending on those Cryocopters. But Maniac, at least in the past, I mean, back in his glory days, he had some sick uh, Cryo Control. We'll have to see if he's going to be bringing that so far he has in that he hasn't lost any cryocopters to the bullfrogs. We may actually need to be... Oh, this engineer may be going down, and that's just really unfortunate. The bullfrogs deciding not to attack for quite a little while there, and the Vindicator does drop two bombs, which I'm assuming he went for advanced aeronautics, so he should have a third bomb waiting. The refinery gets thrown down, but again, the fourth refinery may actually be starting relatively soon for our Soviet player, and not so soon for our Allied player, but that Terror Drone, which was built earlier in the game could be utilized to go ahead and harass this expansion. It would be quite the drive to go ahead and get back to those repair drones. And, okay. All right. So kind of interesting there. I mean, he could have just cleared out that Peacekeeper potentially if he built anything other than just those Bullfrogs. I mean, he's had the Tier 2 down, but that apparently was not for the Tier 2, uh, uh, for the Tier 2 units or anything. That was only for the electricity that it does provide. Ha, going right for, uh, going for a kind of odd Harvester, as he could have definitely gone for this one instead. That Harvester is pretty darn close to the, well, it's close to a lot of Cryocopters, which is what just took it out. Four Cryocopters currently out on the field. Once you hit that five number, it's just, like, so ridiculously powerful, it's almost impossible to stop. And we're actually seeing the fourth Refinery coming out from Maniac 
who opened Cryo Rush, the fourth refinery coming out from Maniac before our Soviet fourth refinery. That is not good news for our Soviet player in any description. And I mean, he's just now going to be going for that airfield. He doesn't actually have enough income since Maniac has been harassing. He took out a couple of those harvesters and it's definitely going to be paying off now. I mean, he sniped down at least two harvesters. He sniped down some other units as well. And going dual multi-gunner turret might actually be throwing down a third multi-gunner turret over here just to protect that water expansion. But MIGs are definitely a necessity. The Vindicator does go down, but he already dropped his bombs and that Vindicator took out three harvesters. And if you want to count up 1400 times three is greater than 1200. So that is definitely going to be beneficial for Maniac. However, both of the oil lyrics did end up getting capped by our Soviet friends. So Dimon not off to a great start. He has started his fourth expansion, but again, it's severely delayed in comparison to the expansion of Maniac. And Maniac going for those five cryocopters is going to be potentially adding on the fifth one, but he's currently just happy to sit with four. I mean, four is a sick number as well. One MIG is out on the field, which is going to be so, so nice. He's finally going to be getting that MIG up and running. The Bullfrog is currently at that elite status, one step away from that fully heroic status where he'll just do six sick damage. And did he actually, he may have just got advanced aeronautics instead going for a different upgrade. One cryocopter almost going down, but it does survive again. You see how just tanky those cryocopters are at 1600 credits. They have to be fairly tanky and going for that oil derrick would be a good move. He just needs to clean that up. Just eliminate it. Don't allow your opponent to have any sort of that extra income. I mean, your four refinery versus four refinery, that oil derrick will eventually allow him to catch up in that economy considering his fourth refinery. Dimon's fourth refinery was slower than Maniac's. But Apollos are now out on the field, which means your MIG advantage isn't quite the same as it once was. This ore, this ore collector will maybe be going down the RNG, not quite favoring our Demon friend, but it favored him enough to go ahead and lock that prospector into that low damage mode, which will be definitely beneficial for uh, for Demon. However, he grabs one prospector, loses the twin blade, so I mean that's not worth it at all, especially considering the fact that he's going to lose that terror drone as well. That's like two grand for a 1,000 harvester, for a 1,000 credit harvester which is not what you want to be doing. I mean, if you can kill it with the Terror Drone and escape with all your units, absolutely worth it. If you lose the Terror Drone, basically worth it. But if you lose the Twin Blade, the Terror Drone, and they're already starting that extra Harvester, not even worth it at all. And again, Maniac, just with this harassment, with those four Cryocopters, this is why players hate to play against... Well, this is one of the reasons why players hate to play against allies is... The kind of dependence on cryocopters and the cryo, well, the cryo blast shot, what have you. Just, it's so powerful, it's so good, and it can be very difficult to play against if you don't have super good control and if you don't get super good engagements. And if you're playing up against someone like Maniac, who's got control, who knows the game, who knows how to play, and knows what he's doing, it can be so hard to gain that advantage because in some cases, you just have to wait for your opponent to mess up. And against someone like Maniac, you don't want to be banking on Maniac just making a huge, huge blunder where you can kill all of his cryocopters, where you can do just sick amounts of damage and really start to get the ball rolling in your favor. But four refineries versus four refineries. The oil darks have been cleaned up and one Apollo will be going down. So that's a nice pickup there. But is it actually going to be enough? Hammerheads or hammerheads, rather hammer tanks going to be moving out across the map, but they do get turned around. The Cryocopters, Athena Cannons, Javelin Troopers, and Peacekeepers are here to lock things down. And of course, with four Cryocopters, you've got lots of that Shrink Ray to go ahead and nullify any crushing ability of these units. Of course, Bullfrogs not able to crush anything by the just by default, but it is MiGs and Twin Blades. Are there any Terror Drones inside of those Twin Blades? Maybe, maybe not, but there goes that Refinery 3 Refinery versus 4. Not a good situation to be in for Demon. And I mean, with Cryocopter Vindicator, it's hard to take like a secret expansion. We've seen secret expansions be very good on this map in the past. But against Cryo Vindicator, it's so easy to just take everything out and be so mobile with that army. One Harvester goes down, but again, if you lose any of the Twin Blades, it's not really worth it. One Twin Blade does go down. Can he trade for any Apollos? He gets one Apollo. Can he get the second? He doesn't actually get the second, which means if he starts taking out the second Prospector, that's when it actually starts to be pretty beneficial. Oh, Maniac hasn't started either one of those Prospectors, which means the lost mining time is actually a factor in this situation. But he is going to be going in for the counterattack. Here comes Sentry Bombers. What? Sentry Bombers actually in this game, one refinery down, and that is definitely going to be worth more 
I mean, sniping down those two refineries is definitely going to be worth more than just sniping down two of those harvesters. And one power plant does go down, so that's why Maniac doesn't actually have the cash to go ahead and replace some of those harvesters. Three harvesters do go down. Fourth harvester does remain, but when you look how close that thing is to death and that twin blade does actually escape he could just suicide in kill that fourth harvester but that would almost be doing maniac a favor he has not oh my gosh he's just now starting those harvesters that is absolutely terrible i mean he can't necessarily afford to produce all of them i'm not sure exactly how much money maniac is sitting on if he's been macroing well, which he has been macroing pretty well, as you can see, yeah, he doesn't have the cash to just build, you know, three harvesters, that three grand out of the gate right there, but he does get two up and running, which means he can start spending on that last one, and Demon, he's floating a little bit more, I mean, he's got this harvest, he's got this refinery started, but he just needs more stuff, he's got a lot of bears, which is nice, because it means that your opponent can't really be too effective with those, uh, with the javelin troopers unless they've got just sick control with their peacekeeper so again you're going to be forcing your opponent to really micro well and goodbye airfield goodbye refinery as this should be enough to finish them both off he does get the sell off on that refinery oh these sentry bombers are going to be going down that's a lot of cash down the drain i'm not actually sure how much sentry bombers are because they're not built very often but that's two of them down the drain however they did take down for 5,000 credits worth of stuff, so I think that was worth it. I believe they're tw they're two grand, but they might only be 1,800. Or I'm just completely wrong, and I don't know what Red Alert 3 even is. Is it a game? I don't know. Athena Cannon's still out on the field. They have paid for themselves for the most part. But Maniac, he's letting his opponent just do what he wants, and he hasn't really been hitting him as much as he could. He's going to be forcing the engagement here, which means Cryoblast could be firing off. But no, it is going to be Apollos in the air. A couple of cryo uh, Cryocopters getting taken out there. However, Hammer Tank's going to be crushing forward, and the Bullfrog's there here to provide support for those MiGs. Lots of bears rushing in here, and Maniac's army is getting absolutely smashed oh my gosh dimon is just breaking through the defenses here comes the hammerheads the the uh yeah the twin blades rather not the hammerheads to go ahead and smash through those uh, that harvester and start providing extra dps maniac the reliance on those two airfields it did not pay off dimon has actually done it one oh one mig does actually go down i'm not sure what that was if that was just to the multi-gunner turret or if it was to something else as Maniac, he's actually losing everything. One Vindicator goes down, another Vindicator pulls up, but he's just passing along veterancy to those Bullfrogs and also to the MiGs. Hammerheads are going to be not effective in this game since they're in Kane's Wrath instead, but those Hammer Tanks, rather, taking out those Power Plants. A good move here, going to be forcing the sell off of one of those airfields. He can't actually afford to produce off of pretty much any of these production facilities. And again, if there's any Bull... Uh, actually, no, never mind. All of the dogs have been have been taken out all of the bears rather have been taken out two hammer tanks versus one switching immediately over to that leech beam a good move there by Dimon, and he's actually going to be making a comeback in this game the mcv brought off the line he's uh, certainly equalized the odds and in and as long as he just continues producing units after this he's going to be absolutely fine he does actually control back into that mcv he gets the infect though that mcv is going to be doomed as i don't think he actually has anything with repair drones anywhere on the map maniac has been defeated Demone somehow able to make it work. <laughs> Maniac ahead pretty much that entire game. Demone just smashing through with that ground army again. We see that dual airfield style not really working out for Maniac. He did some great, great moves, but then he got smashed down economically, and we're probably going to see almost a plateau from Maniac right about there, as uh, he did lose three harvesters there pretty much in sequence. And Demon, he's pretty close economically. It looks like they were neck and neck for the beginning part of that game. Definitely that oil Derek Payne off for uh, Maniac at least a little bit there. Overall, Maniac about 7,000 credits ahead. Not a huge, huge difference between these two players. 13-minute game, action-packed, unusual strats. Not super crazy unusual strats, but definitely some nice play from Demon. Some mistakes for sure. Definitely some micro mistakes from both players. But some nice control by Maniac, sick control for like 99% of that game. Maybe some minor, some minor mistakes flying those cryocopters right over those bullfrogs. But he didn't, he wasn't necessarily paying quite enough attention to them. And I mean, the MiGs were there as well. So would he actually have been able to escape? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how good the control of those bullfrogs was from Demone. But that, losing both of those twin uh, cryo, uh, sentry bombers was absolutely devastating there, and then of course the cryocopters in that final engagement were not super effective, getting eliminated by the MiGs and those bullfrogs, and Maniac just 
not quite able to make that early lead and early to mid game lead really work out for him. However, that will be doing it for this game. Thank you very much for watching, and this is Cyber signing out.